and welcome to another video this time i decided to do something different for christmas i chose plastic medallion for this and i painted it twice with white paint and let it dry between each layer next i chose from this custom rice paper this cute steampunk gingerbread man and i cut it out with water pen I never cut out my designs with scissors because I think this way it makes a better blending later on. So then I applied a little bit of decoupage glue onto the yonder ornament itself and then I placed my gingerbread man onto the ornament but before I tear it up in few places for better placement onto the ornament and then I went ahead and glued my gingerbread man onto the ornament itself with more decoupage glue and of course you can use Mod Posh as well. And after everything was dry it was time to do some painting so I painted the whole ornament from this side with beige paint and then it was time for a little bit of painting decorating my ornament around my gingerbread man image After the paint was dry, I applied some dots with a small brush with a little bit of paint and water onto my ornament and then I let everything dry again. After the paint was dry, I applied my glitter decoupage glue onto the image itself and I let it dry. Of course, you can skip this step if you don't have glitter decoupage glue. After my decoupage glue was dry it was time to seal this side of the ornament so for this i used pouring glaze and i applied four to five layers of it let it dry between each layer and then it was time to decorate the other side of the ornament for this i used some molds and air drying clay and express glue from pentar to glue it all on my ornament. This video is also a sort of collaboration with my bestie Amber from the Southern Girl Can. So after watching my video, go ahead and watch some of hers. The link to her videos will be in description box below. The same is with the material I use in this project.
of course there has to be a gingerbread man as well so for this i have a mold yeah surprise surprise i have a mold for it so i applied a gingerbread clay man onto the ornament itself and then it was time to put a little saying onto my ornament so for this i rolled out a little bit of clay and then i press a stamp saying onto the clay making sure the saying is visible and then i glued it all again onto my ornament itself after my clay was dry it was time to paint it so i painted it all first with black paint and i took off any excess of the paint with wet towel for a nice rustic look After everything was dry and painted the way I wanted it, it was time to seal my clay part. So for this I use matte varnish and of course you can use glossy one as well. The varnish is water based. And the last step was to apply wax paste on my ornament so for this i used gloves because this uh, is a little bit messy and i applied a purple gold and brass one onto my ornament then i let it all dry and my ornament is all finished Here you can see it all finished, my steampunk gingerbread ornament. So let me know how did you like it. If you did, please do subscribe to my channel. Please do give me a nice comment or a thumbs up. And until next time, bye.